Okay, so once you've set up the compatibilities for XP, we're ready to install this update. So the first thing we're going to do is run this setup. Double click that. Uh, we're going to select English, of course. And we're going to set up this wizard. We're going to uh, accept the agreement. Lots of next. Next, 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 next. Uh, don't create a start menu, that's okay. Next. We want to uncheck this execute backup and restore. Okay. Uh, we're clicking next. You want to tick that uh, USB serial adapter. Next. And install it. Okay, so at this point, uh, we're going to click finish and that will restart the computer to save all those changes, okay? Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do before I do that is I'm actually going to turn off the video so that it stops before I restart. But uh, so that'll, clicking finish will just restart your computer. If it doesn't restart your computer, then uh, just click the finish and go and restart the computer yourself. Okay, so now I've restarted my machine. You can see there's a bunch of uh, shortcuts on my uh, table for NCS Expert Tool 32. Um, another one down there, I don't know what's for yet. There's info there. So what we need to do is complete the update into the new version of uh, the Impa and everything like that. So we're going to open our uh, Dome Tools Lite again. And it's probably already mounted there. Um, but if it's not, you want to mount that uh, file again. So if I, I open up my files again, I go to my documents uh, where I've got the OBD stuff. Uh, we go to that Antibus one and we mount it just by double clicking that. And that's going to mount the image um, into our Daemon tools, okay? Now, as before, if we double click that, we're going to get an error. So, uh, how I'm going to do that is I'll just bring it up high again. Right click that and open in File Explorer. And it's come up just behind it. If I click it and bring it up. We want to go to the reference folder, double click that, go to the install, and we want to start this install program now. Okay, um, we'll click OK on that. We're going to click English again, continue, press continue continue we want our uh, same one we chose before and this is in his directions to choose this one uh, if you're in the USA I don't know what the difference is between choosing the USA one but uh, in his directions it's the UK one so we'll just choose it again this time we want to complete the version of NCS expert we want to update that one and update that one okay let's press continue we want to have the one there that's uh, checked to delete the old version continue starting installation press continue and let that install Okay, so once the installation is finished, you will want to click end. And uh, that should be 
if this little uh, uh, thing comes up just click that off uh, Microsoft just doesn't know what it's doing okay now um, we can close all these down we're finished with those we can uh, we might just unmount that so it's uh, clear for next time and we're all good the next thing we want to do is we'll just go back to the main set of files there that came with the cable um, we're going to unused uh, I did this on XP as well so I don't know whether it's needed but we're going into this uh, file here uh, which is just the configuration file. I'll open it up. It'll open up with notebook, and it's just a bunch of configurations. Um, this file needs to be replaced in your computer, so just click that, click it, right-click it, and just copy it. Okay. The next thing we want to do. So you want to go to your computer, click that, open up your C drive. You want to go to your Edivus, you want to click on bin, and you want to find that file, which will be E, there it is, uh, where is it, there it is, your configuration settings, okay, make sure it's that file, configuration settings, and uh, we want to delete that one, and then right click, and paste in the one we just copied okay um, then the other thing you want to do is find the IFH file let's go have a look at that I this one here IFH SRV32 right click that and we're going to just um, go to send to and desktop and create a shortcut for that okay and there it is down in my sh shortcut down there obviously uh, we need to open it up at a later stage we can just use the shortcut just raise that up into the video okay so at that point I think that we're ready to um, test the t cable connection on the car now I've got some uh, error codes on my car so this will be a great opportunity just to go down and uh, have a look at uh, how to see the codes and how to reset that code I know I've got a crank position error down there um, I'm getting it replaced so this uh, code reading stuff has really been a great help and uh, that's the installation so far uh, that'll get you reading codes and whatever and we'll work out on the DIS um, installation uh, upcoming soon probably in another video to test the connection to the car you want to have your computer all hooked up to the OBD port uh, before you turn your ignition on then make sure your ignition is turned on so the lights are showing in your dash then you can open up INPA on your computer INPA is operated by the F keys on your uh, keyboard you can see here that it's showing the battery is on and the ignition on by the black dots they're white if it's not on choose your older model car or your model car for me it's an older model so it's shift and F9 I'm going to choose the engine in an E36 I'm going to scroll down and find my engine which is the M52 then we come to the main menu I'm going to read the error memory by pressing F4 on my keyboard then I'm going to uh, actually read what it says by pressing F1 on my keyboard and there's the error showing that I've got an engine speed crankshaft position sensor that's showing some errors, seven at the moment. And I'm going to clear those off, okay? Pressing F10 to go back 
to the main menu uh, we went one back too far so we need to go to the error memory again and we want to clear the memory by pressing F2 the memory has been cleared and we want to read that memory again just to see and indeed it has been cleared so there you go you can read a memory and you can also clear that error out of the memory to close the application you always want to close it don't just turn off your car you want to go to your F10 uh, with this one shift and F10 to exit out We're pressing F10 again. It's a little bit off screen down the bottom, but you'll see it. Then a little window will come up to say you want to quit. It's very important that you quit in this way. Now, once you've quit out, you can uh, turn off your ignition and then unplug your computer. Do not unplug your computer while your ignition is still turned on.